Good morning. It's Friday and I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend. I say you know what Friday means. I hope everybody who watches this joins in. Because where two or more are gathered in my name, so shall I also be. Lord Jesus, Father God, you know everybody that put up a prayer request on this. From passing of those loved ones, help them and help the fam surviving families, give them comfort and peace. Help the ones going through a divorce and they need to sell their houses. Give them peace. Help the homeless and the hungry. Just for people have got to take long drives this summer. Or any kind of drives, actually. Help them out every day. Help the ones that need a healing and figuring out a diagnosis. Help the one with the blood pressure problems. Get that back in check. Matter of fact, also if anybody's got diabetes, help them get their sugar levels in check. Everybody's got rheumatoid arthritis and fibro. Help them. I should just get rid of it. Please. Lord, we know the power of prayer works. You know, every prayer request was put up here. Lord, we come together and ask that you take care of all of it. Guide everybody and everything. Lord, you help the missing kids. Help let the truth come out and all of that. No one's responsible for hurting or missing them. Whatever happened to those missing kids, let your justice justice be done. Lord, every, whatever everybody's, whatever anybody and everybody's going through, Lord, help them with it. Guide everybody and everything. Give them peace in all things. Let everyone realize that man's peace is not really, really peace compared to yours. Sick Lord, help them with it. <clears throat> no matter what kind of illness it is. Guide us all and everything. And personally, Lord, I want to thank you because everyone on here is like family. It, it's not just like family, it is family. Different walks of life, different parts of the globe. Which in reality, the globe is in your hands. It's literally like my way of thinking is like a grain of sand in one of ours. Help every 
we're not struggling with any kind of sickness or illness. Help out if anyone is in, needs financial help. Help them with health problems. You know, everybody's, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody's circumstance is better than anybody else. Help them with it. And whatever, you must be laying this on, laying this one down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyone that's not sure about you, Lord, bring someone into their life to show me who you are and what what you're about and your. The love that you love that you have. Let them realize a relationship with you is the most awesome thing there is. And all they have to do is ask for forgiveness and ask you into their heart. And they repent of their sins. Thank you for his family out here. As I, Lord, <clears throat> as I said, we're all from all different walks of life, different nationalities, different parts of the world, different everything. And yet we come to you together as your children, where you don't see any of it. All of you see us as see us as is your children. And thank you for that. Lord, on a personal note, and you wanna know this I tried to do videos on this this week past week. Maybe it wasn't the right time. Lord, you know how this, you know how this, channel, this whole thing started, and yet look how it's transformed. You run this channel. Always let your words and be spoken on the hair. Our political leaders and everyone else. Guide us in everything we do. And we'll let everybody have an awesomely great weekend. And help us all. In your precious holy name, Jesus. Amen and amen. No, I tried doing a video all week about what I about what we just prayed about about how this this whole thing started and it's transformed, and it kept getting messed up all week. I guess God, I said, nope, it's not time yet, Junior. But I'll tell you one thing. I, I read up the comments, comments that you, everybody puts up, and the love and compassion on here is beyond, beyond comprehension. It honestly is. It restores some faith, faith in humanity where it's in a negative world together. I think the right words cumulative. We can come and be a positive light. By doing that, we're letting Jesus' light shine through us. Now I know I couldn't do this video all week. Wow. 
I don't know how to explain, but just take my word for it. This just became a drop the mic moment. Because together, we can we are shining Jesus' light, God's word through everything. For all the negative in this world. Not a great analogy, but I'm going to give you a little insight. I love lighthouses. I always have. I don't know why. I've always just, they fascinate me. Together, well, uh, we're shining Jesus' light like a lighthouse in a storm for a ship. And I think that's pretty awesome. I'm going to go play. And I want you guys to have an awesome, great day. And a great weekend. You know, for anybody who's watching this and is unsure of a relationship with God, let me explain it real easy. For many years, I thought Jesus was a stuffed shirt. Wasn't until a woman I've known, well, she, she passed away a couple of years ago, but I've known her literally three quarters of my life. Since 1977, she was our neighbor and she became my adopted mom. <coughs> and I was sitting on her couch once years ago up in Connecticut. And we were talking about how I always thought Jesus was a stuff shirt, and she pointed out something. Jesus went to a wedding party. And what did he do? He turned buckets of water into the best wine the host had ever tasted. So relationship with Jesus is just like a relationship with anybody else. At least in my opinion. But you get closer to him. All right, I gotta go play. I will catch you on the flip flop. I love you. God bless. Bye.